Measuring time. People invented many ways to measure time. For example, people use clocks, watches, and cell phones to tell the time. Think about how people measured time before they invented clocks. Before clocks were invented, they used different things to measure time. In the past, People invented the sundial to tell them when they should start working. The shadow of the stick on a sundial tells the time. A water clock is another tool used to measure time. It is a big vase with a hole at the bottom. One can tell how much time has passed by the amount of water passing through the hole. Incense sticks can also tell the time. People make incense sticks that require almost the same amount of time to be burned out, and then measure the time with the incense sticks. Sand glasses or hourglasses use running sand to tell the time. Candle clocks use candles marked at regular intervals to measure time. Besides the tools we have talked about, did you know in ancient China they used the Chinese zodiac to count time? Each animal indicates the specific two hours in a day. Can you tell which animal means which time? Why did people invent different ways to measure time? Compare two ways of measuring. One old and one new. Now you have the basic knowledge of measuring time. Let's measure time. Material: a sand glass, an hourglass. Step one: flip the sand glass hourglass. Step two. Count the time when the sand is running. Step three: record the time. Step four: repeat all steps more than three times. What do you expect to see? Do you think using the hourglass is a good way to measure time? One more experiment. Pendulum power. Materials: some magnets, a piece of string, some tape, a pencil. Step one: tie the string to one of the magnets. Step two: tie the other end of the string to a pencil. Step three: use tape to stick the pencil on the table. Step four: Swing the pendulum and count off 15 seconds. Step five: Record how many times it swung back and forth. What will happen if the pendulum becomes heavier? Increase the number of magnets to three and five, respectively. Record how many times they swing back and forth for 15 seconds. Think about it. Does the weight of the pendulum affect the result? The weight of the pendulum does not seem to affect the result. What if the string is shorter? What will happen? Leave only one magnet on the string, and then. Adjust the length of the string. Write down the length of the string and the number of times the pendulum swings. Think about it. Does the length of the string affect the result? Did you notice that when the string became shorter, the pendulum swung faster and more times? Do you think pendulums are a good way to measure time? Why or why not? World clock, time around the world. 
there are 24 time zones with different names. If it is 7 a.m. in Taiwan, it is dinner time in New York, and it is afternoon in Berlin. We use UTC to convert time zones. UTC is the time standard of the world. In London, it is UTC plus zero. In Japan, it is UTC plus nine. And in Los Angeles, it's UTC minus eight. Seize the day. Time never comes back. After knowing the ways to measure time, it is time to remember the importance of time. Make a Saturday or Sunday schedule. Think about how many hours you have to spend. Share the things you do with your friends. I hope you liked the video. See you next time.